Hello, Star Wars Paladin here, doing another uh, Tiny Death Star. Where we left off last, we told it to build, <laughs> like, the intro of everyone's gonna be the same thing. Uh, starting from the last one, we told it to build a bunch of things, and now it built a bunch of things. And so here we go. Looks like, uh, oh, and like I said, these are random, so it looks like we got some Felucia apartments. That's cool, it's one of my favorite ones. Looks all, uh, Earthy, jungly. This level is now complete. Da da da. Yep. Uh, first thing I do, check these little guys. That'll open them back up for business, and then people will start buying stuff. Uh, let's see what the Palpatine wants. According to my design, you must build one residential. I just did that. That's what. Well, I mean, the game did that. I just it to do that so let's see give us 300 more view the okay so here's some more tutorial stuff all I got to do is kind of navigate around and it'll give me a ton of money view the bitizens screen that's uh, this guy right here as soon as the tutorial is done I will go through a lot more of what you can do in this game but you kind of got to get through the tutorial first there, I view the bit is in the screen. Uh, I'll go into explaining what that screen's good for later after we get through all this. According to my design, he must build one retail level. Let's go ahead and do that now, and we'll see how long it takes. Retail, retail, retail. Congratulations. Da 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 da. Now, like, a, like I've been saying before, it gives you more Imperial Bucks. I save these because these are the equivalent of real money. And since we don't want to spend any real money, despite the fact that I love this game a lot, it's not stuff that you really need to get. So, I save this because it's actually really, really, really useful. But the game gives you enough to where you never need to buy it. As long as you spend it wisely. So I'm just going to chill. 11 minutes, okay. I can We can find stuff to do together for 11 minutes. And we'll squeeze the retail in to this video. So, uh, the reason why, like I said before, you want to keep doing this. These little elevator guys. Number one, it unlocks new little bitizens, which... I'm not sure if there's any point in doing that, but it, it kind of, except to fill up your thing, people say there's not achievements in this game, that's that's one of their biggest gripes, I disagree, practically everything in this game is an achievement, it's like one big building achievement game, anyway, think of this as kind of like a cycle, you're cycling your the little guys through your ship, it, they're kind of like turns. If you think of this as like a turn-based strategy game, like My Life as a Dark Lord, this cycles the game. It, it, there will be events based on this. Oh, by the way, it's Christmas time, and so they uh, patched in little Christmas lights. So eventually, if I keep cycling people through here, they will there will be people that will want to move in and you might as well do this now while you don't have very many floors because believe me once you have 30 floors 35 floors because you get a basement too you will wish that you were spending money to to actually pay for your elevator to get sped up but i encourage you not to and i will show you a way around that um, I was hoping to get a couple of people before I did this. I don't know why people want to go to floors that are not completed. I haven't figured that out. I think it's just not really a defect, but kind of an oversight when they coded it. You don't get anything on a technical level from doing that, so don't think that you do. 
See, they keep wanting to go to six over and over and over and over and over and over, but they don't do that well. I mean, you get your coins relative. Well, you get a tip. That's what they call it. They're called tips. The little Ugnots are going to keep working. They walk around. They, they don't really do anything, though. So I guess I'll explain a little bit more now. I was really hoping to get some people first on my Flusha apartments. I, one of the only things I use my Bitcoins for in this game is to reorganize my apartments. You click on the apartment, you click move, it uses one buck, which is, again, this is like real money. And I take it and I move it down. All the way down to the bottom. And then uh, once you once you have it where you want it, you hit your X. Now, I do that for a bunch of reasons. One of them is I love things to be organized. Uh, don't force people to move in. It costs real money. Only do it if you have some kind of... I don't want to say emergency because that's not the right word. But... There will become a point, and you're seeing one of them now, where it seems like, for some stupid reason, nobody is moving in. I think it's just statistics. I don't think it has to do with anything, as far as I know. So you save your coins for that. So what I like to do... Is, oh, so you save them for if nobody's ever, ever moving in. I love to have all of my apartments right at the bottom. There we go, now people want to move in. Hooray! I got a Raganda Evazon has moved into level two. Oh, she wants to work at the droid store. Um, She's got pretty darn good food also. Uh, I don't have a droid store yet. Um, Maybe this will be a droid store, I don't know, we'll see. I know in my last game it took me forever to get a droid store. Cool. See, now you notice all of a sudden I'm getting people moving in. Oh, Jedi Jump Up. I, st I still don't even have one of those jobs in my other game. Look, greater retail, greater recreation. Oh! Hey. Hey. I have a good fit for you. Yes, I do. Whoops. Hey, I got a Watto's Wares. That's cool. Okay, what do, what do you want, Palpatine? Okay, collect reward. Again, conveniently, it keeps giving you enough money to buy the next thing, which is really nice. We can continue to monitor bit distance. Okay, so he wants me to navigate through some more menus. I'll explain this later, once, once we're done with it. <laughs> I, I love through this. This is their version of Twitter. I'll go through it in a little bit. What the hell? Ads? I didn't know there was... Boy, you droid people, you have to deal with ads like that? Who can monitor bit as an activity? Da -da -da. Click reward. <laughs> you must build one Imperial level, but you can see it keeps giving me enough money. Let's start that. It'll, it won't be done until next time. Okay, what is it, Palpatine? The time has come through, really. True, perfect. Yes, my master, the Death Star. Da, da, da. Five star rated. Yeah, they want to get the Death Star to be a, have a five star rating. <laughs> so funny. He's like, no! We need to build our forces to crush the Rebel Alliance. See, but first we need to make more money. <laughs> so damn funny. Tap the barrel button. Okay. So from a role play point of view, interrogation. Watch out for supply officers. Bring them to this level. Congratulations, you've unlocked Imperial level achievement. Excellent. The Emperor will be pleased with our progress. 
have the assignments level to view your first imperial assignment. Now I totally forgot about this for the longest time until I accidentally clicked on it. You can click on this level, extract all secrets, and you'll be rewarded. Death right X, yes, obviously. I'll explain this in a minute. Assembly requires a skill, yes, yeah, supply officer. I've granted you a supply officer this time using wisely. Now it's weird because he says that he gives you a supply officer, but then he tells you to summon the supply officer. And then it forces you to spend some of your Imperial bucks, which is ridiculous. But it should. Bless you. Okay, whatever you do, do not keep skipping this. It'll keep wasting money. So, it forced me to use coins, my, my money. Da 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 da, collect reward, that gives me even more of the gold, uh, the, the gold, the coins. Now, take a to visit the store. It's trying to get me to navigate through more menus, so I'm going to do that in a second. Droid store, right on. started just checking my stuff real quick let's get these guys started on something we have some time so we'll just have them do like a one minute one of the things I always do even though you need to cycle through these I always make sure that these guys don't want to go into an empty apartment building that means they want to rent an apartment so always check that out but this guy is gonna be here wanting to go to five forever so it's not like you can ignore this. Okay. Oh, I also want to say, this is a little confusing. This is the ground floor. But this is the kind of your secret lair where you're actually supposed to be. If you're thinking about this in role play, ter role play terms. And then kind of the basement is where the real the true nature of the whole thing is so it's kind of like the evil part and then like the happy the happy part so anyway it wants us to go to the droid store whatever it calls it it's not really a droid store it's where they want you to spend your money we'll go over it later yes what is it emperor da -da -da. According to my design, you must build the service level, okay. Deliver decorator droids. I don't know what this is. Keep an eye on the elevator for decorator droids or someone no. Oh for free. Okay, decorate ten levels to earn a special reward. Holy crap! Okay, I wonder if this is exclusive to the uh, droid version or something. I mean, I read about this, but it's not on, for whatever reason, my phone doesn't have it. I notice it keeps trying to download a patch for this, but can't. Okay, so this is interesting. It actually wants me to build the next one, but this is the first time it doesn't give you enough money. All right. Okay, so this is sort of where the tutorial stops and the actual game begins because it doesn't give you enough money. Oh, I unlocked a new species. What is that? A, uh, does it tell me? I can't think of their names off the top of my head. Uh... Oh, it's really laggy. The phone's not like this, by the way. It just zooms. At least my phone it zooms right through this. What are those called? Oh my gosh. Um, well, it's a really easy name to remember, too. I'm sure you're all really shouting at me right now. Ah, it's, uh... Mon Calamari, that's right, duh, of course. <sighs> no one has the finest starship designers. 
I'm sure the uh, Corellians would beg to differ. I'm sure the Corellians think they're the best starship designers. Oh, come on, laggy. Hello. There we go. So. Cool. See if they want to go up. That's why I move it here. Bam. Jace Lindula. So, what is he good at? Oh, look at his stats. They're terrible. Oh my gosh. And I don't even have a Toydarian Toys. I'm wondering if it builds these in a specific order, because this does look like they're building these in the same order. I'm sure somebody can tell me that they always build them in the order of... I don't know, let's find out. There's an easy way to find out. And then I'll wrap this video up. Okay. No, because it would have given me the cantina first, instead it gave me the Mossespa Cafe first. And I never got a back ribs. I got uh, Moncala seafood, I think. I don't know. I don't know how it chooses an order to build these in. I can tell you what I did do, though. Is... Recreation. There's a couple of these that are really, 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 really nice to have. One of them is the Rancor Pit. I've made a fortune off my Rancor Pit, but my game glitched and it put me in the negative. Um, I highly recommend if you're going to spend money to get something, get the Rancor Pit. It's really cool. Yeah, I don't understand. There's a toy during toys. Well, oh my gosh, this is really laggy. This video is running a little long. That's because of the lag. Um, we'll check the Twitter next time. The little hollow nuts, like their version of Twitter. Um, there's, I'm not gonna have enough money to buy anything. Do the hollow chest hole in a second. That's da da da. Oh, that's right. So, Mr. Jason Dula, I there's no telling when I'm gonna get a Toy Darian Toys, and his stats are terrible. So unfortunately, he's gotta get voted off the Death Star. Sorry, buddy. That's just kind of the harsh reality. The other thing is though, if you're planning this right, you will have people cycling through a lot for free. Okay, good, much better. Recreation and food. Uh, and it just so happens there is an opening at the hollow chess hall. <laughs> what is that? Oh, it's gonna lag if I click this. <sighs> I'll look through it some other time. It's just, I can't believe how laggy it is to open that menu. Okay, let's see what we got. CL Hardeen, you would be perfect for this job. Doop, doop, doop. Looks kind of like a really a bearded Ewok or something. Let's make sure I don't have any more unemployed. The easiest to, way to check and see if you have any unemployed people is to just click this. Uh, it automatically sorts. They have an empty. They have a free job. I mean, they don't have a job, rather. Let's see. I don't need anybody at the cafe, and they're uh, they're pretty they're pretty darn good uh, skills for what is this retail? Is that what this purple is? I can't tell it because it won't let me click on that. So I think I'm gonna leave it there for now and I have quite a bit of my stuff going here which means the next time I log in uh, to do a video for this I should have plenty of money but anything is it likes to send me little nags it's like Vader says you need to get back in here right away <laughs> and work on your stuff 
Well, I swear I shut it off, but it does it anyway. It still cracks me up. Let's get the hollow chest hall working on one more thing. And uh, we will leave it at that. Because I want to make sure... Oh, cool. Got another person moving in already. Killian S. Not bad, not bad. Oh, it's another person that wants to work at Toydarian. That's fine. This person has much better stats. And it just so happens, look, I've got an opening at Watto's Wares just for you, champ. Congratulations. Alright, I'm going to show you guys one more thing. I don't really care about how long these are. Uh, I hope you don't either. So, <laughs> um, if you look at this, see how this says 90 minutes, but this is a lot of units. That's good, because what's going to happen is, let's say you got to go run to the store, you're going to go to bed or whatever. You'll wake up in the morning, and this will be done, and it'll probably last you, like, all day. 800 units is actually even a lot. And then if you get a person that likes the job, that doubles. That's enough to last you all day, which means you got to go to work or whatever, and you don't have time to check it. By the time you get to play it again, you are going to have a ton of money. And like I said, on my, um, the one on my phone, I've got enough. I make enough money every single day to buy a new level. Which is good, because it takes over half a day to build a level. So it works out really well. Well, I think I'm going to stop it there. I hope everyone has enjoyed watching it. I love playing this game. So I hope everyone's enjoyed watching it. Uh, like, oh, hold on. Hold the phone. Supply officer. So supply officers always work on the lower levels. I never save these guys. I just use them right away. Put them down in interrogation. So what these do... <laughs> what was that all about? The... Stormtroopers just chased somebody away that was down in the interrogation room. Um, you get extra money for doing Empire-related stuff down there. It's not really a big deal. Um, in fact, uh, for weeks, I think it was, I didn't even do anything down here because I didn't know what it was and forgot what it was. And For roleplay reasons, I really didn't like it. They keep it pretty mellow. Uh oh. A rebel spy has infiltrated the Death Star. Locate the rebel spy. So he's gonna look. Oh, there he is. So I usually click him a couple times. There we go. And get Imperial Bucks. Like I said, Imperial Bucks, super important because it's like real money. Um, getting those spies is really important. I click on him a couple times because this is gonna sound funny. I've had a lot of problems with Lando Calrissian. <laughs> he comes on my on my mobile version of the game. Lando keeps breaking into the Death Star and shooting the stormtroopers. <laughs> it's so funny. Um, so I try to click him like tons of times if I can find him. Half the time I can't even find him. And he comes and breaks into Death Star and starts shooting him while he runs away. And it's like you idiot, blah blah blah. Anyway. Uh, I'm going to shut this one off before I freaking keep playing it all day. As you can see, it's... I don't really want to say it's addictive, but it keeps you busy uh, in a good way. Alright, well, I guess an Ewok wanted to go to the Watto's Wars. Oh, one more minute. It's almost done. i got to send these guys to do one of the really long ones. There, I will have a lot of money when I log back in. Oh, okay, that was weird. I'm not buying a Luke Skywalker. I'm not spending money on this. That was weird. I must have clicked on something on accident. Okay. Uh, like, subscribe, and I will talk to you guys later. Hope you enjoy watching these. Bye. Uh, Tiny Death Star's the answer. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>